Hi, I'm Hannah from Single Track, and if you're watching this video, then you're probably experiencing some kind of saddle pain and you want to try and sort it out. So I am going to try and help you do just that. I am a woman, so what I'm going to say is going to be most helpful to women. But if you're a guy watching this, keep watching because some of this will be relevant to you. Have a think about where it is that's hurting. Is it your sit bones? Is it the skin on your bum and your inner thighs? Or is it your soft tissue and your labia? There's three different things at play there and there'll be different ways of solving different sorts of pain. What we want on a saddle is for your bum bones to be supported on the saddle, on the main body. We don't want you to be resting your soft tissue and your labia onto the saddle because that is always going to be uncomfortable. Your labia are super sensitive for a reason and we want to keep them that way. If you're watching this video, somebody has probably helpfully told you, you just need to toughen up. Now, if it's your bum bones that are hurting, there might be a little bit of just getting used to being in the saddle. But you do not want your labia to toughen up and they never will. So ignore them if that is what's hurting. You might have been riding for a while and been perfectly comfortable on the saddle that you were on. And then you've changed bikes or you're riding a little bit further and suddenly that saddle isn't comfortable anymore. Don't worry, it's not that your bum has changed, it's that your ride position has changed. It might be that you can modify the position of the saddle slightly and make it more comfortable on your new bike. But it might be that what you had before was a saddle that was quite comfortable when you were upright and not sitting in a more aggressive position. But having moved to a different bike and leaning forward it's just shifting your weight enough and it's not comfortable anymore. So first thing to do is to have a look at the saddle that you've got and check that you've got it at the right height. If your saddle is too high on the bike then as you pedal you're going to rock your hips from side to side on the saddle and that's going to create friction and discomfort. So the first thing to do is check your saddle height and make sure that you're not having to reach down to reach the pedals. If we've done that, the next thing is to look at the position of your saddle. You, as I said, you're trying to get your bum bones, your sit bones, to be on the main body of the saddle. So make sure that the saddle is neither too far forward on the rails or too far back. If you have the saddle too far forward, then you might miss getting your seat, seat bones on the widest part of the saddle. And you'll also probably find that your soft tissue is pushing into the saddle. So you'll have a lot of discomfort if your saddle is too far forward. If it's too far back, you may find that your sit bones are slipping down the front there. And that means that they're not supporting your weight and you'll be supporting your weight on your soft tissue and your labia again. Again, lots of discomfort. So. Make sure that the saddle is aligned correctly on the rails. The next thing is the tilt of the saddle. You definitely don't want it pointing backwards because if you've got your sit bones on here and the saddle is slightly backwards, as you lean forward to reach the handlebars, you're going to be pushing all your weight into your soft tissue. So make sure that your saddle is either level and flat or very slightly tilted forward particularly on a road bike um, or a bike where you're leaning forwards a bit, you might find that a slight tilt forwards means that as your body tilts forwards with your hips to reach the bars, you're not pushing all your weight into the soft tissue and onto the saddle. Very small adjustments can make quite a lot of difference. So before you go out and buy a new saddle, do try making those adjustments forwards and backwards and with the tilt. If that is still uncomfortable, it might be a case of checking whether you've got the right saddle for you. The first thing to do is to measure the width of your sit bones. You can do this by laying a piece of tin foil on the bottom of your stairs at home, sit on it, lift your feet up so that you put all your weight onto your bum and when you stand up, you'll leave behind two little dimples. You can then measure the distance between the middle of those dimples, and that will give you your sit bone width. Don't assume 
that you think you've got a big wide ass and therefore you're going to have big sit bones, wide sit bones. That's not necessarily the case. That will then tell you what width of saddle you need. And a lot of manufacturers now make their saddles in different widths. So you'll get the same model of saddle in a number of different widths. What you want is for your sit bones to be on the saddle. If your sit bones are too wide for the saddle, then not only are you not going to be supporting your weight on your sit bones and you're going to be sitting on your labia again, but you may find you've got a lot of rubbing because your sit bones will be moving around against the edges of the saddle. If your saddle is too wide for your sit bones, then your sit bones are going to be stuck in the middle of the saddle and there's going to be all this extra saddle sticking out the sides and into your inner thighs. So you'll probably have a lot of chafing on your inner thighs. So get yourself a saddle that is the right width. That is the bit that you can measure and it's a bit like buying shoes. So you can buy your shoes and you know what size you've got they don't necessarily fit your feet perfectly. And it can be tricky to choose the right saddle for you. There are some shops that do test saddles and some manufacturers that will let you try before you buy or send them back if you're not comfortable. So that can help you find a saddle that's right for you when you've started with one that is going to be the right width. But there's a few other things I think you should look for when you're choosing a new saddle. First thing is if you're a woman, I would really recommend looking for one with a cutout. That means that when you're leaning forwards on your bike, your soft tissue has a space so that you're not leaning onto it. Um, I'd also look for quite a flat profile. Okay, I've got a couple of saddles here. This one is a little bit more curved. And you can see what happens then is that it sort of slots up into you. So although you might be sitting on the bum bones there, you've got this curve that's pushing up into your labia and that can be really uncomfortable. This one also has quite a scoop on it that's quite short. So although your bum bone's gonna sit here, as you lean forward, the front of the saddle is gonna quite quickly meet all your soft tissue. Whereas this one, a little bit flatter and actually scoops away and doesn't start to come back up again until right at the nose of the saddle, again leaving lots more space for your soft tissue. So, to recap on saddles, make sure you've got your saddle at the right height and in the right position on the bike to get your weight onto your bum bones and sitting on the main body of the saddle. If you're looking to buy a new one, measure your sit bones first to make sure that you're getting one that is the right width and look for features such as a flat profile and a cutout. If you're a woman looking for a new saddle, I do think it's worth looking at women-specific saddles. It's one of those gender-specific items that I do think works, and they're more likely to have the features that you need as a woman. The next thing to consider is cycling shorts. It's well worth investing in a pair that are going to keep you comfortable on the ride. What you want is something with a chamois inside it. You want your chamois to fit nice and closely to your body so that it's not going to rub and fold and wrinkle and move around. So you want it to have a little bit of padding around your bum bones and then a nice close fit around the rest of you. Because nothing is going to be as sensitive as your labia. So what you want to try and do is have as much space as you can around your soft tissue between your soft tissue and the saddle. You're not trying to fill that space with some kind of like packing material, like you're posting something fragile, okay? So what you wanna do is find a chamois that is shaped, that has the right amount of padding at the bum, but maybe slightly less padding through your legs and where your soft tissue is. You also don't want something that's too big and bulky, that's gonna be like a nappy, and that's going to fold and then it's going to rub and chafe on your inner thighs as well. And it might even chafe your labia. So choose your chamois carefully. They come in different shapes and different kind of profiles. So as you can see, this one here has got lots of shaping and ridging on it. Whereas this one here is smooth. Personally, I find the smoother ones 
more comfortable, find that the ridges and the folds are more likely to give me like chafing and grazes on my labia. So I try and avoid ones like that. You might well have a chamois that's come free or as part of a baggy short set. They might do, but they're more likely to be a slightly lower quality and have like more prominent seams and edges. Whereas a pair that you've bought specifically as a chamois short in their own right, more likely to have more neatly finished edges. On longer trips especially, those little seams can make a huge difference to the comfort of your inner thighs particularly. You can get a lot of chafing from just a small uncomfortable edge. Again, as a woman, I would recommend that you look for a women's specific chamois. It's going to be much better shaped for your body than a men's one will. As well as women's specific fits, some companies do chamois that are sized according to the size of shorts that you're buying, which again makes a lot of sense. And it means that you haven't got excess fabric between your legs, just like you don't want too much saddle between your legs. Again, it can be very hard to know that you've got the right chamois for your needs and your body. And some companies will do a fit guarantee or a comfort guarantee. So look out for those. Whatever you do, do not wear underwear or pants with your chamois. Your skin should be straight onto your chamois. To recap, you're not looking for padding at the front. You want padding at the back, if anywhere, and you want something that is just going to sit tightly and firmly against you without moving around and causing lots of chafing. What you're trying to do with the chamois is avoid rubbing and chafing rather than providing any kind of cushioning. For the final part of your quest for saddle comfort, you're going to need to get very familiar and intimate with your most intimate parts because you need to apply a chamois cream. These are specially designed lubricants for applying to your undercarriage. You don't need to use a chamois cream for every single short ride, but for longer rides or rides in the wet, you may well find it adds a lot of comfort. Put just as much care into choosing a chamois cream as you would choosing a skin cream for very sensitive skin on your face. It's very sensitive down there. And you need to apply it everywhere, okay? Make sure you get it all around your labia, as well as on the skin of your upper thighs and your, your sit bones. Don't be shy applying the chamois cream. Make sure you get it everywhere. And then when you've got your shorts on, you might want to have a little rearrangement. Even after you've set off, if you find that hmm, maybe you're kind of sitting on a bit of labia or something feels a bit folded up down there, then have a little rearrangement and get comfortable. We see guys rearranging their balls all the time, so why shouldn't we as women rearrange our labia too? Hopefully, by working your way through the tips in this video, you can find a way to make your ride a lot more comfortable. Don't give up. If you found this helpful, please like and share it with your friends, and then they can be comfortable too. Thank you.